are ready to sit through this long week of workouts but i just want to give you guys a look into what my squat cycle looks like during this time it's different from like my normal programs because i am working out my legs every day because i'm squatting five days a week so mondays are my heavier days so i like to take a little bit more time to do some stretching and warming up these legs for almost an intense workout. So each week, um, the amount or the volume changes so i do different percentages of my pr so we start off light and we go up toward the end of the program so here i'm doing more of a load as well so mondays and wednesdays i do more reps and on mondays it's back squats but then on wednesday it's front squats so i just try to make sure i take the appropriate amount of recovery time in between each set because it's a lot of work so I try to at least take two to three minutes. Unfortunately, I have work um, in the morning. So sometimes I can't take as long as a recovery break as I can. But this is what we have to deal with. This is the cards we were dealt and we're going to deal with them, baby. So these squats look pretty good. Um, back squats honestly have become my, my addiction now. I really love doing back squats after doing these. Um, squat cycles honestly you can get me to do three of these squat cycles every year but I'm trying not to I'm trying to keep it down to one squat cycle a year just to up my PR and that's the whole reason I'm doing this I want to be able to live stronger um, heavier I want my quads to be bigger <laughs> so this is like the perfect program for me Thank you. 
but we can but we can but we that I do and I started doing this program I started doing the RDLs in this program because I haven't done them in a long time and I really wanted to start from the basics so videos before this I um, vlog every day so in the beginning of this program I started off light and then I started adding five to ten pounds every two weeks just so that can give me time to really learn how to do the movements correctly and push those hips back. It can be a little bit tricky for me, but I think I'm getting used to pushing those hips back instead of like using more so the front of my body. It's more so a glute workout. So I'm doing five sets of eight. It's a little bit of work, but I figure I can add that in there. Um, we'll see how it goes once I get toward the end of this program and I'm doing more reps and weight on um, the squats. But we can, we can, but we can, for my saint is just a sinner. But we can, but we can, but we can. But we can't we body day so at first I do the squats that were designated for Tuesday which is 60% of my PR two sets of three so this is more so a light day when it comes to legs and then I get into my upper body workout so I start off with a circuit and I'm going to do vertical press 
this is something I've been working on for so long. Um, just trying to get that form right and try to keep the full range of motion. So I just bring those dumbbells a little bit inward, if you can see what I mean, um, like diagonal to my armpit, basically, to get that full range of motion. And here I'm also going up five to 10 pounds every two weeks. And then when I get into my bent over rows, I kind of just stuck with 35s. Um, I was gonna go up every two weeks with this as well, but I just felt like I wasn't getting my form right when it came to this. Honestly, I probably should have started over from a lighter weight and worked my way up, but your girl didn't do that. And then I got into Payloff Press. Um, this first set you see here, I don't know if you see it here. Okay, so in the original, vlog for this day i started off doing the form kind of wrong but now i'm starting to do like i will call it pumps consistently in a row do about eight of them where before i was um extending my arm to the side like i were to put the put the handles back in place and then pull back out and then do the pump if you know what i mean so i changed it up a bit midway through this um program because it just it just felt different to me all right, so we're getting into Turkish get-ups. I was introduced to this by my brother. He does these, and I did not know what they were at all. But I've been doing them in all my programs, so I would say I'm kind of addicted to these too. I'm doing five sets on each side, and then also I do this for five minutes collectively. Um, I don't know what the time frame is for, but I mean, it works out. Um, this is really good for overall strength and also shoulder strength as well. I really adore the Turkish get up. I don't see it a lot here on social media, but when people hit me up like doing the Turkish get up, I feel like it's our own little community. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I'm not going to do too much talking today on Wednesday's routine just because it's basically the same workout from Monday. The only difference is I'm doing front squats instead of back squats and it's also 
pretty much a heavy day as well because the front squats go up every week to the percentage that I do. Um, the only struggle for me with front squats is this is something I couldn't do at all as well through my fitness journey. I could barely um, do a front squat with just the bar. So just seeing this today and seeing how good my form looks and just keeping my chest up um that's major improvement you guys can go back and look at all my other videos i believe i um have front squats that i did throughout all my programs and you'll see the progression in um my front squat and that's why i love making these videos because i even can go back and look how much better i'm doing and that's just all with consistency that's why i love vlogging every day even if you don't watch all the videos i like to go back and look at where i started and where i'm at now and this just reminds me that like you just have to keep going every day every day is not going to be great i definitely have vlogs where I'm not, I'm not doing my best but you always have an opportunity to start over so that's a little little motivation for you um, just because this is basically the same routine as Monday. I'm trying to think if there's any differences. Oh yeah, so on Mondays, I do the elliptical for five minutes. I don't do any cardio on Wednesday, but on Monday, I do five minutes on the elliptical after my whole leg day routine. I don't think I added that in there on Monday. So I'll talk to you guys later and just feel the vibes.
guys so we get into thursday's workout with some back squats and it's a small set two sets of three at 60 percent of my pr and then i get into arnold press and i really enjoy this workout i haven't done this before in my um fitness journey it's something new that i've learned within like the past year, like i would say like six months um i really enjoy this workout so i do three sets of 10 and then i also get into the trx inverted rows the only thing is today in my gym they had the um boxing bag up and they took down the trx band so i actually did it with the barbell on the squat um machine so if you guys are looking to do inverted rows and don't have the trx band you can definitely use the squat um setup and use that to do your inverted rows and then i'll also get into the ab rollouts of i'm ha i've had a journey with the ab rollouts i used the dolly at first but I don't have it in my gym so liana suggested i use the barbells and that's another alternative for you all and actually i really enjoy um doing it this way rather than doing with the ab dolly my brother has that in his gym and then i do three sets of 10 here and then i'll also get into turkish get-ups um these is a staple i'm gonna have to keep these forever for life we eat together for life and i do five sets on each arm and then also on thursdays I go to the gym. Well, I mean, I'm at the gym, but I go downstairs to the stairmaster and I do the stairmaster for like 10 to 20 minutes, depending on like how my time is running. Because you girl gotta go to work. But I hope you enjoyed Thursday's workout, and I'll see you tomorrow. Friday is like a smaller version of Tuesday. I basically still do the vertical press, also bent over rows and payoff uh, press. Um, I do that the same, the same circuit, four sets of eight. The only difference is I don't go into the 
Turkish get up and I don't do any real cardio work after. Now, if I'm in cutting season, um, halfway through this program, I decide to cut, I would do cardio on Friday as well. Or I'll save it for Saturday when I'm not doing anything else. But that's basically it for Friday. And also my workouts of the week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I was able to give you some good information. Um, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Ah!